Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech, today in this video I am going to show you, how to configure LAN routing in Windows Server 2022. First of all let me tell you that we have used three machines to configure this lab. This is our Windows Server 2022 machine. Our computer name is, Server. Our domain name is stb.local. Our Ethernet 0 IP address is 172.16.0.1. This is our Windows 10 and Windows 11 virtual machine. This is our Windows 10 machine. Go to command prompt. Type, IP config. Press enter. As you can see our Windows 10 machine IP address is 192.16.77.1 and subnet mask is default of class C. Let's close command prompt. Go to Windows 11 machine. Go to command prompt. Type, IP config. Press enter. As you can see our Windows 11 machine IP address is 10.0.0.1 and subnet mask is default of class A. Let's close command prompt. I am going to check communication between Windows 11 and our server. Type ping space 172.16.0.1 then press enter. As you can see, ping transmit failed. General failure. Go to Windows 10 machine. Go to command prompt. Type ping space 172.16.0.1 then press enter. As you can see, ping transmit failed. General failure. Let's close command prompt. Go to server. We checked the connectivity by pinging our servers from Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines, then as we saw that both the machines are not communicating with the server. The reason for this is because we have different class IP address on all three machines. And we will need a router to communicate with server. But we will configure LAN routing in this lab due to which our server will act like a router. Click on dashboard. Click add roles and features. Click next. Click next. Click next. Select and check the remote access. Click next. Click next. Click next. Select and check routing. Click add features. Click next. Click next. Click next. Click restart the destination server automatically if required. Click yes. Click install. It will take some time to install role. Our remote access installation is completed. Let's close on it. I am going to configure it now. Click tools. Click routing and remote access. Let's maximize this console. Right click on server. Click configure and enable routing and remote access. Click next. Select custom configuration. Click next. Select LAN routing. Click next. Click finish. Click on start services.
our LAN routing services is started. Expand server. These are some options in this LAN routing services. Expand IPv4. Select static routes. Right click on static routes. Select new static routes. Ethernet 0 is already select an interface. Now here we will enter the network ID of the Windows 11 machine in the destination. 10.0.0.0 Network mask is default of class A, 255.0.0.0. In the gateway, we will enter the IP address of our server. 172.16.0.1 Click OK. Now our first static route is created. Right click on static routes, select new static routes. Ethernet 0 is already select an interface. Now here we will enter the network ID of the Windows 10 machine in the destination. 192.168.77.0 Network mask is default of class C, 255.255.255.0 In the gateway, we will enter the IP address of our server. Click OK. We will create another new static route. Rare we will enter the network ID of our server machine in the destination. 172.16.0.0 Network mask is default of class B, 255.255.0.0. In the gateway, we will enter the IP address of our server. Click OK. Our static routes is created. Refresh this console. Go to run. Type ncpa.cpl then press enter. Go to Ethernet properties. Select IPv version 4. Fill default gateway IP, 172.16.0.1. Click OK. Click OK. Close network connection. Go to Windows 10 machine. Go to run. Type ncpa.cpl then press enter. Go to Ethernet properties. Select IPv version 4. Click Properties. Fill default gateway IP, 172.16.0.1. Click OK. Click Yes. Click on Close. Go to Windows 11 machine. Like we have entered the IP of the server in the default gateway in Windows 10. Similarly we will repeat the same process in Windows 11. Fill default gateway IP, 172.16.0.1, click OK, click Yes. Click on Close. Close network connection. Close network and sharing center. Go to command prompt. Now I am going to ping between our Windows 11 and server. As you all are seeing. Now our server and Windows 11 are communicating. Whereas in server and in Windows 11 there is a different class of IP address. Go to Windows 10 machine. Go to command prompt. Ping of server.
as you all are seeing. Now our server and Windows 10 are communicating. This means our LAN routing is proper configured and works perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.